What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bubba Pro Fish Scale. This is a $200 scale to weigh your fish on. Uh, I have no affiliation with Bubba. This isn't a sponsored video. I've been using this thing for about the last month now and I feel like it's about time to share my thoughts on this $200 scale. So I was able to get my hands on this Bubba scale at the Angler's Choice Mystery Tournament about a month ago. So I've had probably three tournaments to fish this with and five or six other days out on the water that I've used it. I'd say enough time with it to figure out things that I like and don't like. And overall, I'm extremely impressed with this thing. We're just gonna cut right to the chase. It's $200 for a reason. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about a $200 scale. Would you ever buy a $200 scale? Now, yes, at first I was like, I don't know if I could spend $200 for a scale. I've used some really good scales. The previous scale that I had was the Rapala something or other, but it has the full screen. It holds up to like, I want to say eight fish in its memory and it will tell you your bag weight and all that good stuff. Basically does what this does, but there are things that I really don't like about that scale after using this. Let's just do a quick run through on it. One of my favorite things about this scale right off the bat is going to be this. This is a rechargeable battery that Bubba sends with the scale. It charges with a USB-C. It lasts a long time. I think I've actually only charged it once in the entire time that I've used it. And I think it's still got about 50% battery, but it works really well. Having a rechargeable battery on a scale is awesome because if I'm out on the boat, I always have a way to recharge that. Whether that's through the boat or one of my external battery packs, the scale is always gonna be able to turn on. Whereas if you have other scales that don't use rechargeable batteries, say it's triple A's, double A's, whatever, and they go dead and you don't have extras, you're not gonna turn that scale on. So I think having a rechargeable battery in a scale is such a good idea. But if you don't like rechargeable batteries for whatever reason, they also send you this double A insert backup deal. So you can have double A's on deck, keep it inside of this awesome waterproof indestructible box and if for whatever reason you can't recharge that battery you can pop that thing out stick it in the scale and you'll be good to go so the overall feel of this bubba scale is actually really nice it is like one of the scanners you see at any sort of checkout just like scanning something um super comfortable it feels like it's super well built like you can't break this thing Trust me, I was mashing the scale down thinking it was a touchscreen. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But overall, the build of it is just very, very high quality. And the carrying case that it comes in, I would say overkill almost. But I like it. Big fan. It also makes it really easy to weigh your fish. It comes equipped with the fish clip there. Like you literally just, whatever, holding your fish, boom, weigh them out, flip her over good to go it's very easy to work with you're not fumbling around a bunch with the fish and the scale and trying to zero it out it's super nice now this is another thing that I really have enjoyed is how bright this screen is so you know when you're out and it's like sun's directly overhead you're weighing fish and you're trying to see the screen you're like hiding it with your hat and your hand and you don't know what it says because it's so bright out this thing's bright enough where you can literally be in direct sun and you can still see that screen. It's also something that's adjustable too. Like you can go into the menu settings and you can adjust the brightness. So even on low, you can still see it pretty well. And the fact that it's a color screen is gonna help you see a little bit better instead of a black and white non led screen like this one before we go any further with the scale let's take a look at the boat of the week sponsored by angler's choice so this week we're going to be taking a look at a 2023 tracker boats pro team 175 txw who doesn't love a good old tracker boat this thing is coming in at 17 foot 7 inches with a seven and a half foot beam it's powered by a 75 horsepower mercury so she'll get up and go you've got a 24 volt 70 pound thrust Minn Kota maxim up front for your trolling motor as far as electronics, you've got two Lowrance Hook 2s, one at the console and one at the bow. The boat comes with three batteries as well as a three bank battery charger. You've got an additional trolling motor battery and it's an upgraded trailer with custom aluminum wheels. These little trackers are like some of my favorite boats. They're very simple and easy and they get the job done. 
So I'm going to leave this link down in the description below if you have any interest in this tracker. You can reach out to me at strikerbrothersfishing at gmail.com and I'll connect you with one of the sales team members over at Angler's Choice or you can just click the links and go through one of those and reach out to them. They've also got the Mercury Repower deal going on right now mm -hmm. so if you're looking for a new outboard you can find one in stock at Angler's Choice. Bring your boat in, they'll take your old motor off, help you sell the old motor and they'll put the new one on and waive all service charges. The Inflation Busters got pushed out again so if you're looking for a new 2023 Ranger 521 or 520R. There's thousands and thousands of dollars worth of savings to be had there too. So I'll leave those linked down in the description below as well. Huge thanks to Angler's Choice for sponsoring this video. Now let's continue talking about this crazy bubble scale. Speaking about the screen, when I first got it, I thought that it was a touch screen. Some of you guys aren't going to like that, but the reason that I actually appreciate that it's not a touch screen is Generally, when you're weighing fish or out on the water and you need to use something that's touchscreen, it's going to make it super dirty. Like you're holding fish, your hands are slimy, you're trying to tap it in. This thing's going to be caked in fish slime like 99% of the time. But not having to input the fish into whichever spot it needs to be with your thumbs, having the buttons down here, it just keeps this nice and clean. You don't need to worry about getting it all nasty, which is actually something I prefer. Also, having the buttons opposed to like the Rapala scale, the majority of it is touchscreen. I think there's like one button on the one that I'm speaking of. It makes it easier just to navigate the whole thing. Like this has one menu button. You just hold down this right button for like three seconds. It pops it up and you have everything that you could need right here. Super nice. The Rapala one had a bunch of different combinations of things that you had to do. It was like press the exit button and hold the slot where your fish was weighed if you want to remove it. I, I don't even remember, but there was like 20 different combinations. I never remembered half of them. There's a couple different Bluetooth deals you can do with this where you connect it to your phone. I probably won't ever do that, but those options are there. I'm not even going to go into them because I don't know that much about them. I've been using this strictly for tournament fishing. I guess, like, or weighing a big fish. There's a few different modes you can have this thing in. And all you gotta do is go to the menu, click mode, and then you have tournament, rally, and competition. So tournament is gonna be where you're gonna weigh every fish that you catch, and it's gonna show you the first fish that needs to be culled, and it will automatically do that too, which is really nice. I haven't played around with the rally or competition. I believe rally is, it will, show you the smallest fish you catch and the biggest fish you catch and the number of fish you've caught throughout the day like if you catch every single one and weigh them release them it'll show you that information and then competition is going to let you basically have a competition in the boat so if ace and i are out there and we're doing a 1v1 he can have his fish weighed on the scale and I can have my fish weighed on the scale. It'll keep them separate and it'll tell you each other's totals. So pretty neat to have different modes like that in the scale. But again, I've just been using it in tournament mode and you can adjust how many fish are going to be in that bag limit between three and eight. So I have it set on five, but like for the John boat tournaments, those are a six fish limit. So, you know, just give it a quick switch to six and it will allow you to have six slots on there. So it still shows the eight, but like say you catch six, the next fish that you weigh, it'll highlight your smallest fish and it'll automatically put it into that slot. Six, six. That's gonna get rid of number three. And then the fish after that that you catch, if it's a call, it will show you which fish you need to call again. Oh yeah, he's a three, five. Three pound, five ounces. We're gonna call number five. So it's super helpful, absolutely a time-saving tool and extremely easy to use. So after a month of using this Bubba Scale, I have found honestly nothing that I do not like about it. It's a durable scale, it's accurate, I can see the screen. The screen doesn't get dirty from having to use it as a touch screen. It's got the rechargeable battery, it's waterproof. It comes in this crazy indestructible case. Kind of makes me realize, yep, I can see where the $200 comes from. Like, yes, you can get another scale that's gonna do the exact same things, but it's not gonna be this quality. I saw something funny online the other day too. I was like scrolling through Instagram and it was basically saying you get what you pay for, but it was uh, the bitterness of poor quality remains long after the sweetness of low price. And 
I started thinking about that a bit and I was like, that makes so much sense. Like you buy something that's cheap and it sucks and you get bitter about it. Like I still remember things I get from Bass Pro Shops, like Bass Pro Shops Aerator or a Bass Pro Shops call set and they just suck. Like I still remember it and though it was cheap, it sticks around. But when you pay for something that is a little bit more expensive and super nice, and it works. I'm huge on functionality. Like I could care less about how something looks. If it works, even if it's expensive, like I love it and I'll stand behind it. But that's the video for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're looking for one of these Bubba scales, you can grab it over at acmtackle.com. I think they also just got some Nessies in too. So if you were looking for one of those soft plastic glides, I think those are over there too. But hope you guys enjoyed this honest review of the Bubba scale. See you on the next one.